Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. As, as always, uh, a big shout out to those that have recently subscribed to our channel, uh, those that have also been uh, pick, picking up the phone and having a chat with me, uh, placing orders and uh, also visiting me in person at my Optics Weekends. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please feel free to do so and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. So today, I'm going to have a quick look at the Skywatcher or OVL H beta filters that come in 1.25 and 2 inch. These are described as a CCD filter now, and they are available to purchase in the link in the description below. But before we come on to them, let's just have a quick look at the packaging. With the 1.25 inch filter you get this plastic case here, foam lined and a slightly larger one obviously for the 2 inch. And the boxes uh, this is the 2 inch version which keeps everything nice and uh, secure inside. And on the back of the box, although not, not that one, is this chart here which tells you a little bit about this filter. And it's a H beta filter, so hydrogen beta filter. It only lets light through in the H beta wavelength there. Everything else above and below is cut out so you only see the the object that you want to see or image or, or even see visually which I'll come on to shortly and so it makes it stand out much more from the background sky and as you can probably guess I am not a prof professional CCD imager so by all means in, in the description below let me know your thoughts as well on these filters have you used them for visual work what objects have you seen or photographed uh, let us know all about it any tips and tricks that you know please share them with us so coming on to the H beta filters themselves, so as, as mentioned these only let through light from emission nebula in the H beta wavelength range such as the cocoon, the California and the horse head nebula and, um, and by doing so, just, just letting this wavelength through it cuts out all the background stars and makes the object stand out much more. And I've heard people say that the, you can actually use these visually with, with high-end telescopes um, from 80mm upwards. And so again, let us know in the comments below if, if you try that using these visually and uh, what sort of results you get. And finally, one thing that probably I do know something a little bit about is, um, you know, it's a very delicate piece of glass this. And as per all eyepieces and lenses and filters, they're blooming dust magnets and what I, I would say is you know don't bother using any sort of chemical cleaner on these or even the dust blowers with the little brushes on them because you're going to end up doing more harm than good so just get a, a dust blower similar to this one sorry it's out of focus there we are we're back again and um, basically if you get a bit of dust on or it's on the inside just a little, like so, just get the dust off that way. No need, don't actually touch the glass at all, and then you're good to go again. And if you have been out with them for, for a while in the evening, and they're a little bit damp as you bring them inside, don't put them in the case, let them breathe, and uh, the mist will clear off the lenses uh, naturally at its own pace. So that's a very quick look at the Skywatcher H-Beta, CCD filters, although as mentioned before, like I have heard people say about them being very good for visual use as well. So I hope that helps. Just a quick look at this filter and um, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.